Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my second Rogue Tech series. So I've had to abandon my last series only because I tried to get two series up and running at the same time. So the last version, once I got this version installed, working and everything, I made a second um, Rogue Tech folder, or sorry, Battletech folder, and tried to reinstall the old version again, and I cannot get it to actually work. I have no idea why. I don't know if Battletech had downloaded some files recently or not, but I cannot get the old version back working. So I am stuck doing a brand new series. I hope to like the last one. It ended at episode 71, I believe. Um, Battle of Aspos Aspropagos. So we're going to start a whole new series here. And we're going to start right from the very beginning. We're going to go to custom campaign because I like customizing things. And we are going to figure out our starting plan in a minute. But So we're going to go and do... Uh, eight mech parts for assembly, which is what we had in our last series. Mech recovery chance will leave at 50%. Enemy force strength normal because I am not good enough to play against tougher enemies. Uh, contract difficulty variance will leave at two for now, but we'll expand this later when we have more lances to run with. Commander experience points, I always go to 10,000 just because the commander should be more experienced than the rest of the crew. That's just the way I feel. That's the only reason why I go to 10,000. Not just to give myself an advantage, but because I think that's what it should be. Advanced mech warriors, we're going to turn this down to rare. We don't want to be finding lots of really good guys. Higher Ronin, higher chance. Since I like to f hire the base mech warriors and not the named ones, I'm going to drop this down to 10%. Um, pilots per system will leave at 5. Actually, no, I'm going to turn this up to 7, I think, this time. Uh, only, not that we're going to be hiring a lot of pilots, but I do want to have more selection on planets, especially when I first start off, because I'm going to be flushing all of the main pilots out to start and trying to find some brand new guys at a lower sea bill cost um, that might have some things like um, you know a lower uh, cost uh, in store and uh, lowering um, the chance to um, fix your mechs in the mech bay things like that some of them do have things like that so we're going to look for pilots like that. Mech warrior prog progression we're going to turn down to slow this is going to be a long campaign so I don't mind leaving these all on slow uh, lethality and starting money the same. Mech base speed we're going to turn to normal um, only because we you know we want to be doing more combat. It has nothing to do with realism or anything like that. It's just because we don't want to be stuck in mech bay all the time. And everything else we're just going to leave uh, as is. And we're going to start the game. Alright so we've skipped past the opening video and we're right in here to character generation. We're just going to quickly go through this because I already have a pretty good idea what I want to do. So if you haven't played Rogue Tech before, you'll notice that depending on where you start, you'll get a few starting items that'll go in your uh, inventory. Uh, they don't actually get in there right away, unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure why that is. It's a little bug. But once you either fight a battle or move to a new planet or whatever, they will show up. So, um, you know, you can choose where you want to go. This is where you were actually born. It doesn't have any effect on where you're going to. Because I want to play a more defensive game this time, I've actually played some of this version of Rogue Tech now, and I know it's actually can be extremely difficult. I want to um, play a defensive game, so we're going to go with Capellan, Cal uh, the Capellan Cat Confederation, only because we get the, the Stealth Armor, Null Signature System, Electronic Warfare Suite, and ECM. This is going to um, really help us out at the beginning, so we're going to take those. And it was a simple life until whatever happened, and uh, then we have to choose, you know, what happens to us. So. Uh, once you get in this, it's going to give you some skill and an item. So depending on what you want to do, you can just go for the item if you want, or you can go for uh, whatever. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to go with My Family Was Betrayed. Um, just for a little bit of storyline. So I'm going to take the betrayal uh, storyline, because I think what I'm going to do... Actually, I'll show you in here in a minute. So I'm going to take the betrayal storyline. And then we have to decide what we were doing here. So Frontier Pirate, uh, Gladiator, and once again, this will give you a few things as well. So a soldier will give you gunnery and command console and a tag. Um, Frontier Pirate, Pirate LRM and Tagger. You know, so, I mean, once again, you can choose it for items if you want, or you can choose it for, um, you know, storyline, whatever you want to choose. I'm going to choose Frontier Freelancer because we're going to start off on the Frontier. And I like the fact that we get Endo Steel and Agile ECM, which is good. So we're going to choose next, and we're going to start the game. And we're going to call ourselves... Not cold and metal, but just regular cold metal.
There we go. And we're going to go to AI. So, yeah, this time we're going to have a named named person to uh, play with. Cold Metal will be our call sign. Um, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose our face. And I'm going to customize this guy. I already know what I want to do here. So, we're going to go down to clothing here. Lighting at two. We're going to go this way. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to get rid of our scars since we haven't really fought all that much. We're going to put our hairstyle back to short like this. Uh, eyebrows, we're going to go forward one. Facial hair, we'll leave as is. Expression, we're going to go to number nine. It's not much different than three, but we're going to go to nine. And complexion, we're going to put to one since we're going to be a younger pilot. Darker hair. And we're good to go. Okay, cool. So there we are. So we're going to go forward now into the game. So we got Gunnery 3, Piloting 2, Tactics 3, and Guts 3. And here we are. Oh, we never chose our starting planet. Let's see where we are. Um... So we are starting off, <coughs> excuse me, we're starting off right here with everybody else. Look at all these people here. That's crazy. Okay, well, that's fine. I was going to start off in Magistrate Canopus, but, but you know, that's fine. We'll start off in the center here. Lots of people around playing. Uh, we're running War Tech, so whenever we see one of these little flags here with an Argo on it, um, this is another player that's synced into War Tech. Um, right now there's eight players right uh, here at um, Galatea. So, um, yeah, I mean, we can't interact with any of them. We can't send them messages, but um, we are sort of playing. Uh, also, I'm going to throw this out there because I'm not sure how many people are watching, but um, if anybody wants to hook up and, uh, you know, play a series where we try and travel around the map together and work on campaigns and storylines together, I'm completely open for that. Um, keeping in mind that I'm at uh, Eastern Standard Time, um, in Canada, so I'm nearby Toronto in Canada, so if you keep in mind that's where I am, uh, I'm more than happy to play with anybody. I do work a 9-to-5 job, so, um, you know, anytime later in, later in the evening I'm usually available. I have family uh, obligations before that, but, uh, you know, I'm good. And on the weekends I can generally swing some stuff. So, just throwing that out there. Alright, so we're at Galatea. So first thing we're going to do, uh, what I always do, um, is we're going to go to the mech bay first and check out what we got. We start off with three mechs, we could be in trouble. So we got four. Okay, good. So we got a flea. Are you serious? Oh, firefly. Well, geez, that could be just as bad. Um, <laughs> 30 ton, 50 ton, 45, and a 35. We are going to have some problems. Okay, well, we'll work on this. What do we got here? Ferrofibrous, two medium, or sorry, medium. Well, this guy's got a pretty good loadout for being a 30 ton mech. Probably has absolutely no armor, but uh, we'll have to work on that in a minute. And we got a centurion. Okay, cool. I can work with the Centurion. Uh, AC-10, LRM-10. I think it's got, yeah, it's got three missile uh, pods in the uh, left torso, so I think we can uh, load this guy up with some missiles. AC-10. We're going to need a d dedicated missile boat, and I think that's going to be him. Uh, Phoenix Hawk. And large laser on this guy. A couple of mediums, it looks like. Yeah, whatever. Jenner X. Okay, that's interesting. Spall liner, Endo Steel, Thunderbolt 10. Small laser triple plus. Two Thunderbolt 10s. Two small lasers. Okay, that's interesting. Enough ammo to go for a while. Alright, so we're going to need to figure out what we're doing here. Um, we'll check these guys in a minute. First thing I want to do also is go to the hiring hall. Because like I said, we're going to start off with uh, some pilots yep. that might give us some advantage. So independent trader. This is one of the things I was looking for. Uh, merchant discount to buy st uh, stuff in the shop. Uh, I'm not sure how much the discount is in total, but I like the price tag on her. Um, she has some half-decent skills. Price tag is low, so we're going to hire her right off the bat. And we're going to have to flush out some people here because we're going to run out of space. So let's go to the Mech Warriors. We're going to keep some of the original pilots. Uh, Behemoth's always a good keep because she's actually the cheapest. And we're going to go through and just dismiss all of these expensive pilots. If you're not sure that you're ever going to use any of these guys, sorry, Decker. Um, yeah. Like, Medusa, while he's a good pilot, um, I love the voice and everything, but uh, can't afford him. 26.4, goodbye. Can have, I can hire two pilots at that price. Alright, 33.6, confirm. 
So we've got four here. Let's see if we can hire anybody else out of the hiring hall. So who else do we have? Quagmire? Eh. Not really worth it. Rommel? Hmm. Like the name. 16-2. Not bad. Slider? No. So we're going to we're gonna just go with the one for now. I want to try and find pilots that have, like I said, either a store discount or um, mech repair time discount. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so we can run with the four pilots we have right now. Um, so going back to the mech bay... Actually, before I do that, let's go to engineering real quick. we got to get some stuff started here uh, before we start spending money. So power system, we definitely want to get that up and running. Plus one tech points. Let's get that going. Uh, okay, bays. So we have to start refitting these guys. I'm going to spend the first month, I think, getting my mechs to a position where I like them. That's usually what I always do. So we're going to refit the Centurion here. Do we? I don't think he's got jump jets, but I think he does have lower amounts of armor. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, his armor's a little bit low. DC 10's not bad. So you can see the stuff that we chose doesn't show up here right away. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to move the armor, or the uh, ammo, out of the torsos and down into the legs. Since the legs have more armor than the torsos, we're going to do that. And just confirm this. It's only three days, so we'll confirm it. Alright, Phoenix Hawk next. Let's refit this guy and see what he's got. Okay, so we got a medium, large, and another medium and a small. Few heat sinks. Oh, he's almost got maxed out armor. That's kind of nice. So we got four laser hard points in this guy. How does that work out? How do we have a small laser in the center torso, yet no laser hard point? That's interesting. Um, okay, sure. I don't even know what to say that, but all right. So, I think we'll leave the Phoenix Hawk the way it is for now. Um, our heat um, efficiency is pretty bad, but we'll be able to fix that later on. So we're just going to leave him the way he is. I want to have a look at these guys. Jenner X here, 35 tonner, probably doesn't have much armor. But if we leave him in the backfield, I think we'll probably be okay. It's got some jump jets, so let's pull out. I'm not a big fan of jump jets. I'm going to just reorganize some stuff here really quick um, I know I should be a bigger fan of jump jets we're gonna max out our armor if we can yeah it's gonna be a little way over if we uh, do it this way so um, how does that how do we get more armor than I don't understand how that works so we pull out the jump jets one, two, three, four. Moving the AC ammo into the legs. I don't understand how that worked. Want to get our head to maximum, obviously. Let's get some more on the arms. Definitely need it there. Um, definitely need the legs. And then we've only got a little bit left uh, for torso armor. That doesn't seem right to me. Why doesn't that seem right? I should be getting 8 per ton of armor. Why is it lower? Spall liner? Is that why? Hmm. Yeah, weight change per point of armor. Reduce damage taken. Resistance against critical hits. So I'm going to take that out of here. We get an extra ton. I'm thinking that that, that would probably be better off served um, on the Centurion. Something that's going to be in the front lines, I think. So we get another ton. And we're going to add a little bit more everywhere. Something like that, I think. Maybe we'll take one off each of those and add it to the center torso. Something like that. Now, this guy's not going to want to close with anybody. So we've got two Thunderbolt launchers, plus one accuracy. Um, oh, we got upper missile uh, arm actuators, too, which give us plus one accuracy. So that's a bonus. Six tons each, 45 damage each. 
This is supposed to be the uh, close range defense weapon, I would imagine. But I think what I want to do... So how much heat did these guys generate? 13. We have a large laser left over. We have SRM2s, but we don't have the weight for these guys. Um, I'm wondering if I should pull out the small lasers and put them on the Phoenix Hawk. Since we've got bonus range, I'd probably get better use out of these on somebody else. So let's do this for now. Let's pull these two out. I'm going to leave the tonnage the way it is because I think I want to drop a medium laser in this guy. So we're going to confirm this. It's 11 days. Just confirm. Right. I'll get it and I think the Phoenix Hawk, let's refit this guy. We've only got one small laser on here. I'm just afraid if I pull it out of the center torso, I won't be able to get anything back in here, which is most likely the case. Uh, what do we got for heat sinking here? Not very good. So what if we pull out the small laser and the medium laser, and then we go and we drop a small here, and I guess a small here, since we won't be able to get it back in the CT. Heat efficiency is way worse. Why is that? Because these guys generate 16 heat, that's why. That's a lot of heat for a small laser. 300 meter range, what's a medium laser? 330, so it's almost the same. But this one's a better chance to hit. So what if we... It does the same damage too, right? 25 damage. Stability 4-1. What's the medium laser give us stability wise? 4-1. So it's basically a medium laser with more heat. So let's pull out another medium and drop a small in here. We got one ton left for armor. We're still way over heat wise. I could put another heat seek in I guess, but this guy's the, yeah, he's got pretty good armor overall. I think I want to balance it though. Maybe just take a little bit off the legs and then add one to the head. Two, three, four. Yeah, and I think maybe we will add a heat sink. Well, got the spall liner. No, we're going to add a heat sink. Just put it in the head for now. I mean, it's not giving us much more. It's giving us something more. Those two small lasers are ridiculous. Like, ah, man. Maybe I'm better off just putting a second large in. I don't have to wait for that. Hmm. Let's try this. This is giving us a better chance to hit. Maybe we cycle the large laser on and off. Or the small laser, we're not going to... Eh, let's... let's tr I don't know. Let's leave this guy for now. Let's go back. Let's leave him for now. We'll have a look at our f uh, Firefly here. He's got some small lasers in here too, right? So, he, yeah, this guy is going to be really heat inefficient. Well, actually, he's pretty darn good. Got a double heat sinked engine. Ferrofibrous. I hate having it on such a light mech, though. Like, I'd almost want to strip everything off through here and figure something else, else out better. Almost max armor. We're going to pull the jump jets again. I know the flea's probably going to benefit more from jump jets than anything, but let's pull those. Let's change what we've got here. So let's pull out a small laser and a small laser. Why are the ECMs in the arm? I have no idea. Let's put it in the head for now. Um, so we've got the two small lasers out. Let's go here and put the, the bonus small lasers. How did that... Bonus small lasers in the arms. Heat efficiency is going way down. Um, do we need the LRM-5? I don't think so. It's not really going to give us anything. We can take that out. We can probably use the case more on the. Um, yeah, we could probably use the case more on the uh, Centurion. Hmm. Start heat sinking out here. Hmm. What if we pull out the smalls? Leave all mediums in. What do we got here, weight-wise? 60. I wonder if we drop the large laser in. 
I mean, this guy could be very dangerous. But the fact that he doesn't have a lot of armor. So let's max out our armor first, see where that gets us. Okay. Um, damage potential is dropped. We can pull out the medium laser in the CT, drop in a large laser. And if we drop our armor slightly, I don't want to get this guy too close to the enemy, so if we go one, two, three, four, we've got a ton and a half left. Um, let's do another heat sink, put it in the leg. It's a little better. Won't be able to fire everything all the time. I don't know if I'm nerfing myself by putting this large laser in. I better I'm better off with like I'm better off with the other stuff here. Like the medium we wanted to keep. So let's go. What if we load up with just smalls and just try and get in close to people? We could do that and then just add heat sinks. Right? Yes? That got swapped by mistake. We'll have to buy heat sinks, but we can go one, two, three. Let's drop. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. In the legs. This is taking 13 days, though. Uh, what are we at here, heat efficiency wise? Pretty darn good. We got one ton left over, so let's go just check the store. This guy is definitely going to be our. Uh, He's going to get in close a lot. Come on, man. Get get to the store. Not going to let me get to the store, eh? Ah, okay. We'll leave it this way with one ton off because we know we have to put a, a, uh, a heat sink in this. Let's just confirm this. All right, so now we're going to travel. Let's travel. So um, let's go to the Argo. And we got to figure out where we're going to go. So navigation, star map. So we're going to head towards client space, I think, as best we can. Um, Eventually, but right now I think what we need to do is try and find some place relatively close. Gakrox, 18 days. I know going along this way, there's some really short distance planets as well. There's some short distance planets over here as well. Uh, we want to try and find planets that are relatively short distance so that we can be choosing just the missions that we want to take. But we're going to travel here for 18 days, so let's just do that real quick. So I think this episode will be just us getting started. Um, I'm really kind of sad that I wasn't able to finish off my last series. If I can find some other way to get it working, we're going to fill every last corner of the mech bay here. I'm going to just, anything that, uh, any of these things that come up that um, aren't really roleplay um, interesting, I'm just going to gloss over them real fast. This one, we're just going to fill every last corner of the mech bay with supplies, so we get a plus five tech boost. All right, can you keep going? So yeah, I was, um, I was really sad. If I can get my other, if I can get that um, first... Um, game back and working again. So we're going to set money aside for the fine, get our morale back. Not that it matters. I don't think we'll be fighting before the end of the month anyway. Um, but if I can get... Uh, we're not giving anybody any money because, you know what, you guys? You guys haven't fought anything yet. We haven't fought anything. You guys want more money? Are you kidding me? Alright. So, um, yeah, if I can get that back up and running, I will. So, Mech Bay, we're going to go to Bay's and we will... Oh, sorry, Engineering. We are going to go with our second mech bay and get that up and running as soon as possible. We want to get more repair time, uh, or better repair times, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah, so if I if I can get back and get my old series up and running again, I will do that and continue on, but as of now, it, it's a dead series, unfortunately. Uh, I was not happy that I could not get it back running again, but such is life. But with this series, once again, I plan on getting into a multi-lance format. Um, I want to go with more than just one lance. I want to kind of like have a light, heavy, medium, and hopefully an assault lance as well. And be running missions on a wide gamut of, of um, skull ranges. Just because that's kind of what I really like doing. Um, okay, all work orders complete. So let's wait till we get to Gakrox one day. And we can see what we can find in the store. Now, if you haven't played this version of Rogue Tech, the store is synced. So we'll visit the store, uh, and I believe, I have to read up a little more, but I believe, as you notice, there's a lot of mech parts in here. Um, 
it depends on the, the players that are around. Ooh, Clan ER medium, laser, medium lasers. 35 damage, 15 heat. Is there anything else? Is there anything here we want to buy? Evasion ignored. Accuracy. LRM 10. Um, I think I want that. I'm going to buy that. Um, we have a little bit of cash left. So we'll probably be okay. See, you can find ferro fibers. Like, you know, it's. I'm, I'm trying. I'm. I'm up in the air right now. It's nice that you can you can buy things like this in the store, uh, and I think it really depends on who's playing, where, and what will show up like in the actual store here for you to uh, get. So if you know, for instance, like the clan ER medium, somebody's taking on a clan mech and they're kind of showing up in the store. So um, because we can buy mech parts here. That's one of the reasons why I like keeping the salvage up at 8 in order to assemble a mech because, I mean, if we just went for cash, we'd be able to put together mechs no problem. Um, I mean, it obviously depends on the availability in the store, but still. Um, now, I don't think I want to spend 600000 on an ER medium right now. It's probably a waste of cash. SRMs, plus 2 SRM damage, minus 1 accuracy. I don't like the fact that it's minus 1 accuracy, so we'll leave that off. Case 2, nah. All right, well, nothing much there. Okay, so let's go back, and we're going to have a look at our mechs again. we still got 12 days before the end of the month. we still got a good cash flow. So let's go back into the base. And let's look at our... Well, we said we're, let's look at the flea. Um, we're going to get another heat sink for this guy. So let's just go. We should be able to get in the store now. Here we go. So let's go to equipment and uh, buy ourselves a heat sink. Uh, you can see here, look how much, how many heat sinks are in here. I think the value of the heat sinks kind of drops the number of heat sinks in here. I mean, look at that, 129 available for 11.4. So we're going to buy a few of these. New equipment available. I'm going to buy five just to have them on stock. We're going to use one in here. So here's all our um, stealth gear and stuff now that's showing up, showing up. Ender steel and all that. So cockpit. Um, I want to choose what I want for the got the warfare suite. I, I want to choose what I want for the centurion, who's going to be my frontline mech, uh, and the rest of these guys are just going to kind of get whatever we can get. So uh, this guy here, I don't think has any. EC oh yes, he does. He's got a guardian ECM in the head, so we're going to leave that as that. And what we'll do is um, find our heat sinks and drop an extra heat sink in this guy, and I'll leave it at that. I think heat sinking is really good on him now. We're going to use him as attack from the uh, attack from the back mech. So let's confirm this. And then we'll look at our Jenner again. We wanted to put a medium laser in this guy. So we'll do that now. Uh, I think we got a medium laser kicking around. We do. And we will drop this in, I guess, this torso here. Oh, he's got a heat sink cooling pod too. And a small cockpit. Now that's not good. Minus one accuracy with ranged weapons. And a cooling pod. Interesting. So let's... Oh, I gotta get rid of this small cockpit. I can't have minus one accuracy in the cooling pod. So what's our heat at now? That's actually not that bad. So I don't think... I'm not expecting to fire the, the medium laser all that often. I want him staying back and firing from a distance because Thunderbolts have really good range here. Um, you got 630 meters of range, so he's just going to be standing back firing. So I think I want to go that route. However, maybe what we'll do is we'll not put in the medium laser just for heat sinking wise. Uh, I think we can probably we didn't put a heat sink in this guy, so we're okay there. What we'll do is we'll go to equipment and we're going to add. Um, I think the angel is the angel. That's two tons. Regular ECM is one. Is it? Yes. So we're going to regular add the regular ECM here. I'm going to drop that in the head, just so that he's got a little bit more um, uh, evasion and maximum evasion. Hopefully keep him a little bit safer. Confirm that. Right. Alright, now I'm going to have a look at the Centurion. This is the guy that I want to get in fighting the enemies. And what we're going to do, I think, with him, I don't think we have anything ballistic that we can use other than the AC-10, so we'll leave that on there for now. The LRM-10... Um, and two medium lasers here. So the LRM-10, wow, this guy's got like no hard points other than missiles here. We're going to swap that around. 
Uh, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out a ton of armor or ammo for that as well. The auto cannon we need to definitely have that amount of ammo. Actually, let's do this. This is bonus accuracy, correct? Yes, it is. So we're going to put bonus accuracy ammo in, and that is only 80 rounds, so that's only 8 turns of fire, but that's okay. Put the bonus LRM in to hit. So now we're at 1 ton remaining. So we're going to go to our equipment, and we're going to add our endo steel. That'll give us a bit more weight, because I want to add... Um, where's our cockpit? Our bonus cockpit in here, because he's going to be in close. Uh, the Warfare Suite I want to add, it's 3 tons, but it gives us um, evasion and accuracy. So we're going to drop that in. And what do we add for heat sinking here? We're not very good on heat sinking. Um, hmm. I don't think there was there any ballistic weapons in the store. The AC-10 is nice, but... Um, No, it's just ammo. Dang. Okay, well, we've got to move planets anyway. So I'm going to leave this guy kind of up here with half a ton left over for now. Um, do we have large laser? See, like, I'm going to hard point. So we got one there, two here, and, that's, and then three missile. This guy eventually should be a short-range missile boat, but let's add half a ton of armor at the point at this point. Um... Actually, maybe we'll do it this way, and then two more to the center torso. It's not much of a brawler, doesn't have much back armor right now, but I'm thinking that's probably how we're going to lay this out. 80 on all the main points, 100 in the center, and then a little bit on the back. Going to need better gyros, better engines and stuff for this guy for sure. Uh, equipment, we can add the NSS on this guy, but I'm not going to add it to him. I want to add this to, let's confirm this. The Phoenix Hawk, I think. Although we have stealth oh, armor as well, don't we? Interesting. Maybe we add that to the flea. Probably. So let's add our... Alright, so we're back here. 45 tons. Heat efficiency is lousy on this guy. Um, let's go to equipment. And we want to add... See, if we're going to do this, though, we're going to need... Um, yeah. Well, we can add the cooling pod to this guy. Let's do that. Right? Because we really need the heat efficiency on this guy more than anything. 39, 55. Not bad. Um, and not using the small cockpit. We want to get in. We need to get one of these guys in here. But that's, mo that's like a lot of tonnage. Oh, I hate having to pull out this. Uh, what do we have laser-wise? we got one medium laser. Like, if we go for volume fire, let's say we take out the large, put in a medium, buy another medium, right? Because I should be able to leave the small here and add another medium. Can we, I wonder if there's mediums in the store, or is it just ER medium? Let's go to weapons, lasers. Yeah, there's medium laser, 41,000. Let's buy that. New weapon systems available. Okay. So, let's drop the medium laser in this arm. So we can. We can actually run with five. Alright, that's good. And we, our heat efficiency goes way up. we got three tons left over. So we're going to add... Uh, let's go to equipment. We're going to add our stealth system. Uh, this guy's got better armor than the uh, Centurion um, on the torsos and everything. So I think I'm going to get this guy in close. So let's add the NA NSS. And we're going to need to add perhaps the Angel ECM. I think that's all we got left for ECM. Yeah. It is. So let's add the Angel ECM on this guy. Um, we have one ton remaining. So I'm thinking, I mean, we could add a heat sink. Uh, or we could add more armor. Which I'm thinking is probably the better of the two ideas. So let's add another ton of armor. And I want to add some to the back here. So this guy is definitely going to be our brawler. Um, we got a couple left here. Torsos or CT? Let's go with the CT, I think. Got one left over. Uh, CT, probably. Let's do this. Um, yeah. We're going to do this, and we're going to add it to here. Okay, so this is the guy that's going to be getting in close. we got four mediums and a small laser. 
Uh, half decent speed with the core 270. That's not bad. So let's go this route, I think, with this guy. Stealth armor we can get on... Who is... That had the ECM now. I can't remember if it was the... On it. I'll let you know when that's done. The Jenner didn't have... Oh yeah, we have an ECM on the Jenner. We added one. And the Flea does too, but he's got uh, Feral Fibrous right now, so... Alright, so let's have a look at the Argo here. Where are we? How much time do we have now? 13 days. So we got a bit of time to repair everything. We're going to go through a financial report probably. Most likely... Actually, we probably won't because this mech bay will be up and running before then. So let's look for another planet here. We're going to go to... Let's see here. Let's get going this way. Uh, 11 days to Solaris. So let's travel there. Calculating course now. And you can see the days, the travel times. If you're, if you're um, starting off at the beginning, Galatea has got some large travel times in the that planets around it. Top -notch work, if I may say so. And if you actually get moving outside of that, actually I should have checked for pilots there in the store, but uh, let's go to ship upgrades again. And the next thing we want to do is we want to add a training module in. I want to get into the repair and refit in a minute. That's 350000 for automation. Um, it allows the second repair bay to work at 100%. That is going to be our next one after we get the training module up and running. I want to start getting experience on my pilots, so we're going to purchase this. It'll take a bit, but 10 days, be we'll be up and running with that. Still doing well for cash, so that's kind of good. So you can see at the beginning here, this is kind of how I normally start Rogue Tech. I did in the last campaign, um, although you didn't see all this stuff at the beginning. But this is generally how I start. So we're going to temporarily hook up the refit harness. Two more tech points for 14 days, which is great. So we're going to have our mechs back before the end of the month. Right now it looks like just at the end of the month, but I think it might be before. It might not be. We'll see. Anyway, um, so this is normally how I start my series off. I spend the first month or so just getting my mechs into position where I feel comfortable going into battle and not having to worry about them dying right away. It's, it can be terrible to start a series or start a, a campaign and get into a planet and then, you know, your mechs get blown up and you're like, now what do I do for the rest of the campaign? I have to start over, right? So that's why, why I kind of go this route. So one more day and we're at Solaris. Excellent. Now we're going to look for some more pilots. Um, I'm liking the fact that we've got seven pilots per, per uh, planet. Gives us a chance to find some good pilots, I think. So, once again, you can see uh, the selection here in the store is still exactly the same. It's because it's everything is synced and this is the store for all the planets. Now, this will update itself, I think it's every half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So, it updates based on what's going on in the on the planets and everything, uh, who's fighting what and all that. So, yeah, so this will update... Uh, periodically. Uh, generally, once you perform a mission and come back, missions are usually you know, around half an hour, so this will have updated. It'll give you a list of who's been fighting where, what planets have been flipped, and then it, you got a new store, which is great. So let's go to the hiring hall real quick. And it looks like we got Apex. We got we got here Porcupine. 18,000. Nope. Pylon. What do we got here? Mercenary Recruit. Starts with a baiting, uh, increased starting XP. Um... 14-4. Yeah, I think we're going to choose this guy only because we need to get started and we need to have a pilot with, you know, some half-decent gunnery. So let's hire this guy on. And then what about Rambo here? Yeah, the name is not doing it for me. I don't think I can have someone named Rambo on my crew. But, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so we got one more pilot. Let's go to our barracks right now and have a look at the mech warriors. Let's get them up to snuff here. So Behemoth, Commander. we might end up using her as a pilot to start. So let's do this. And let's go with some health. Training complete. Don't know if I'm going to be getting knocked down or not, but uh, definitely want to go that route. So we're going to go this route with this guy. Don't have enough for piloting, but that's fine. Uh, I do like this tactician. Uh, one you can spot whether it's mech or vehicles at a greater distance. Um, not only that, the minus fifty percent critical hits taken is is huge. I really I really like that. So I kind of like to go this route with my uh, main gunnery guy. So let's confirm this. Training confirmed, Commander. And then Training glitch reporting. once again. We want to go with uh, targeting. Gotta get that uh, gunnery up first. Hickory, who's not having a good time right now, doesn't have enough experience. Pylon does though. He's got two thousand. So we're gonna drop some on gunnery. Get that up. He's got bonus health too, so it looks like he's going to be dropped down. Now, what I want to do, I think, is I want to customize this guy as well. Um, I want to get 
this. I'm not going to change the pilot's name or any of that stuff. Leave it all listen as it is. I'm just going to change the uh, outfit and the the look so that we, we at least have a, a uh, uniform look for everybody. And we need to reconfirm this. And let's go back to Hickory once again. We'll do the same thing with her. Get the uh, the uniform on, so we're all looking the same here. Commander. Excellent. Uh, and we can't do that with Glitch or Behemoth, so we'll just leave those as they are. All right, so there we go. And so our mech bays, I don't think there's anything else we want to do at this moment. I think we do have, yes, I think we're all up and running, but let's have a look at the Jenner. I think we were talking about putting the uh, stealth armor in here. Let's have a look here. I think it adds heat, but we're, not, we're actually really good on heat with this one. Yeah, so we can add the stealth armor because we have an ECM. So let's do that. It's only going to take a day to do that. Um, but it's, it's great because we get the uh, maximum evasion uh, and one ex extra evasion pip up and running. Plus three heat per turn. Ah, that's fine. We're generating low, really low heat. Plus five percent heat generated from weapons fire, which is really low for this. So we're not going to be overheating anytime soon. Let's confirm this. Right. Alright, so we've got a really okay, good defensive good. build now. One more turn, we're at the end of the month. Looks like everything's going to finish up by then. Alright. Hey boss, we've just completed those updates. Thank you. And we're not going to put, we're going to put off um, getting any medical supplies for this moment. Operating expenses, 211,000. We just have, we have, usually I'm under 200,000, but we have an extra pilot, so we're a little over, which is fine. And we have uh, Glitch, who I, who I think is 24,000 a month. So she's a little more expensive than normal. Usually I'm around 180. But um, let's have a look at, I think it's, yeah, I think Glitch is like 240,000 a month. Good to go. Uh, 260, uh, sorry, 26,000 a month, not 240, 26,000 a month. Um, so usually I have a pilot for half that, so, you know, we'll, have, we'll be better off later on. So let's go now and look at, actually, we're not going to look at contracts. I think what we're doing is, what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here, um, but we will go to ship upgrades before we forget, and we will get our automation up and running and the reason why we want to get this up and running is they've changed this since the last version that I played usually if you had the second mech bay you had a second mech bay working at 100% but you do need automation this time to get the second uh, repair bay working at 100% right now it's working at 50% so it's only six days it's 30, 350,000 though it's only giving us plus one tech point last time I think it was plus four or something but um, the tech points have been spread out so yeah we're going to go this route definitely a good purchase right, and then I think we'll be set for quite some time we're at uh, 228,000 now. We have enough for the next month, so we could just sit here, but we're going to take some missions in the next episode. Uh, I'm not going to fast forward uh, the timeline right now, but uh, we will once we get back here. Actually, before we finish up, let's go to um, Customize Company. We never did that at the start. Um, we're going to call our, our uh, company here. We're going to be... Um, I call ourselves Cold Forged, and I've got a good idea what we're going to use here is our icon, which will be, or our logo. Uh, where are you? It's here somewhere. Nope, back up here. Come on, man, where are you? No, you're somewhere. Where are you? Huh. Am I just not seeing it? I'm just not seeing it. It's an eye. Wreath and flare it is. Eye, wreath and flame, cold flame. We are cold forged. All right, so we're going to do something cold looking, I think. And we're going to leave... Hmm, accent is... Do we want to go black? Or do we want to go... I think maybe like this grayish split tone. And then maybe... The primary color will go as black, and then the secondary we're going to go as maybe the white. Is there another one over here? There's this one. It's kind of like a silvery white. It's more like it's more metal-like. Let's have a look at that. All right, let's go to our bays and have a look. Eh, it's hard to tell on this guy. Centurion? Eh, not bad. Looks pretty plain, actually. That actually kind of looks cool. I think I'll leave that one. Yeah, it looks pretty plain. 
Hmm. I know I went with red and yellow last time. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit by like changing things around, but yeah, you know, I think I'll leave it like this. Locust is so like the, the locust frame is so hard to tell the color wise. Let's go this route. All right, so we're gonna have leave our mechs like that way. And why are we all of a sudden? Company finances are ridiculous all of a sudden. Uh, okay. I have no idea. All right, well, we're going to end the episode here anyway. If you liked it, please drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. Um, I am going to be running this series for quite a while. We'll see what happens with with um, Flashpoint. I'm going to try and record a bunch of episodes uh, before Flashpoint launches in about four days from now or so. Um, only because if it breaks Rogue Tech, which most likely it will, it'll give the... Um, um, designers of Rotec some time to get some patches and fixes going. So I'll get a bunch of episodes recorded and be posting those um, as they spend their time getting things fixed. Usually they have it up to date right away. Uh, we are running on the beta version right now um, of Battletech, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, we'll have that done. Uh, also, just putting that back out there again, if it's, you know, if anyone wants to hook up and uh, um, do some cross-channel sharing where we, you know, attack a planet together or whatever. Let's, you know, let's let's do that. I'm kind of cool with that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. And uh, please feel free to comment and let me know what you what you like and what you want to see in the series. And I'll see if I can get some some of that stuff in there. And until next time, I'll see you later.